place is full of them. tonight for meetings with Premier Benito Mussolini. It is expected that the Italian Chief of State and Adolf Hitler's special envoy will discuss ways to strengthen the alliance between the two countries. Also in Rome, Pope Pius XII stated that the Vatican foresees no threat of war in the immediate future. In London, however, authorities continued with plans for mass evacuations of the city in the event of hostilities. Another one of those back alley abortions. She came in about an hour ago. Crawling, it's more like it. Whoever did the job really chopped her up. Russia? Falling. 90 over 60. Pulse 110. Damn it. Mr. Ravik, please. I don't want to remind you again, though, Sujani. It's Dr. Ravik. You attacked her? Clamp. Pressure. Stabilizing. 110 over 80. Pulse. 95. The colony must be taking effect. Good. I think we've done it. Good work, Ray, as always. She got here in time, that was all. You got here in time. Ah, oh, yes. All right, you should now smoke outside. I'll join you in a minute. How many times I have to tell you that she's more respect to Dr. Ravik? I do my job. I don't have to be polite about it. He doesn't practice here. Don't miss a steward. You know very well that in Germany he was a chief surgeon at the Munich Hospital. But this is France, Dr. Weber. He should be glad to work at all. I'm sure he's living here illegally. That is none of your business. Ravik. Yep. Can I give you a lift? No, thanks. I'll walk. There won't be much of a fee tonight. All the girl had was a hundred francs. That would mean only 25 for you. I'll make it up to 50. Well, 25 would be fine. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't work at all, would I? Why haven't you ever got yourself a small apartment? Might because I'd need a passport or a visa for that. At the Hotel Victoria, where I'm staying, all those niceties are taken care of. Uh-huh. I know. Bribes to the police, perhaps. Who knows? At any rate, it's a comfortable and impersonal way of living. Now, thank you. You must be tired. Let me drive you to your hotel. No, I'll walk. Well, it's late. I'll walk. Let me know if you need me again. Good night, Weber. I will. Good night, Ravik.
Nice to see you, brother. Voila. Mm. Good to see you. Mm. <laughs> Choo -choo. I hear Jacqueline is doing very well, thanks to you. Yes, did uh, baby tell you that? Yes. Good. I'll call you. It's very late. Too late, I'm afraid. Unless that fellow decides not to go with you, honey. No, I didn't come here for a girl. How are you? Well, it's nice to see you, anyhow. Good to see you. Um, I was going to phone you. Would it be possible for you to examine the girls on Thursday instead of Friday, just for this week, if it won't inconvenience you? Yes, of course, no inconvenience. Why are you here? I'm going to ask you to have a drink with me. <laughs> I don't believe that, but maybe a small one. Come on. Good. How are you? <sighs> It's been a long day. It has? Yeah. Would you believe they start coming in here at 10 o'clock in the morning? In the morning? Yeah, you know, I've never seen so many foreigners in Paris. Oh, you deserve a drink. <laughs> you both deserve a drink. Salut. Salut. Good to see you. What do you think, Ravik? Will there be a war? Do you think anybody could be so foolish as to start another war only 20 years after the first? I don't know. I try not to think of it. I thought too long and too often about the last war. Mm. Somehow, I don't think it's good for you to be alone tonight. Tired? Well, not tired enough to sleep, no. Tell me something, Roland. Anything. I wanted to ask you. What do you think about at night, just before you fall asleep? Leaving here? Going back to the town I came from and opening a cafe with the money I've saved. It's just a small cafe. Very elegant. Very elegant. And respectable. And respectable, too. Mm. Wow. Mm. You know, Roland, you're a woman of great common sense. You know <laughs> exactly what you want. Uh, and you, Ravik. What do you want? Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. You're sure it was him? Positive. And you could have been mistaken. After all, the man you followed... Was not the man I started to follow, I'm sure of that. The time of day, the light... The light had nothing to do with it, Boris. You think I could make a mistake about the man who put me in a concentration camp and me tortured? <laughs> no, listen. Listen, right, Ravik, just... Just remember who you're talking to, eh? The Bolsheviks weren't exactly amateurs when it came to brutality, you know. And one thing I have learned. When you dream forever of revenge, you can't wake up to illusion. You could have been mistaken. Let's go back to my apartment, eh? Play some chess. No, I don't want to play chess. For nearly five years, I waited to get my hands on this man. Maybe I saw him, maybe I didn't. However, I lost him. So 
I'm in no mood to play chess. All right, all right. You get drunk, hey? What we do doesn't matter as long as we keep you from chasing up and down every street and alleyway in Paris. Derek, listen, if you really did the arc, you will see him again. The part of this city that foreigners know is a very small town. Everybody sees everybody all the time. No, you're probably right. Oh, I know I'm right. I'm right about playing chess, too. All the time. Good night. <laughs> Hey, you don't really want to do that? The water's very cold now. Eh? You all right? I have a cigarette. Oh, here. Be careful. This is very strong. It's Algerian. Don't you think you'd better go home? Home? Yes, you don't want to be picked up by the police, do you? No. You tired? I don't know, I suppose so. Too tired to sleep? Yes, that can happen. Hello, come along with me. I'll buy you a drink. Come, don't be afraid. I'll buy a drink. Come on. Salute. It doesn't help much, but it does warm you up. Drink it down all at once. It's good. The waiter, two more calvados, bigger glasses. When we finish our drinks, I'll take you to where you live. I can't go back there. You know, whatever it is that troubles you, you mustn't take it too hard, especially at night. You know, night exaggerates everything. You don't have to come for me. All the better. Isn't there anyone you could stay with? A friend? Anyone? Nobody. Your papers in order? Yes, I'm not a refugee. You've got to go somewhere. You can't stand here all night. You're right. I'll find somewhere. You needn't trouble yourself about me anymore. Thank you very much for your trouble. Oh, damn it. Hey! Come along with me.
down. Do you want something to drink? No. No, thank you. If I could just sit here for a moment. Yes. All night if you want. Stay and sleep. You should have left me where you found me now. I don't think... I don't want to disturb you. Oh, you won't. Oh. It won't be the first time somebody stayed here because they had nowhere else to go. This hotel is for refugees. Look up. You sleep on the bed and I'll, I'll stay on the sofa. No, I'll stay here. All right. Um, there's some pajamas in the dresser. And do you want the bathroom? Have you been up long? I couldn't sleep. I don't know what kept me sitting here. I should be going. You know your way? No, I don't know Paris at all. Where are you staying? Hotel for them. Oh, yes. Well, it's not far. Uh, I'll get ready now. I'll show you. Would you like some coffee? It's the only thing that's good here. We both have time enough for that. I should be going. Maybe... Maybe... Uh, you know what... has to be done... when... When what? When a man dies. <laughs> Why didn't he die? Shh. Did you kill him? No. Well, what happened? He died. I was so afraid. I ran away. Listen, didn't you call the doctor? He did, doctor. I tried to phone. Now, listen to me. Is he still at the hotel? Did you tell the owner of the hotel what happened? Afraid. I left him like that. I'll get dressed and go with you. All right, I'll go with you. Was he your husband? Are you each here?
stay outside. You are a doctor. Then you must know what made him. It's probably pneumonia. Oh. No, not yet. is we didn't make each other very happy. We came to Paris so we could separate. That doesn't make sense, does it? Pass your 4273, please. Our friend downstairs has probably contacted the police now. The best we have to do with them, the better. Dr. Weber, please. Start packing. Start packing! Now! Weber? This is Ravik. Listen, I need a favor. Matteo Verdun, room 14. Man has died of natural causes here. I want that on the death certificate. Yes. If I've gone by the time you get here, contact the owner of the hotel as soon as possible. Hotel Verdun, room 14. Thank you. Can't you sign the certificate? No. Ah, uh, do you know how much was owing on the bill? Mm, no, nothing as far as I know. He always paid in advance. No. Do you know where he kept his wallet? Yes, I'm there. Hello. All right, now, you take this. So you have to live. If you don't, you'll only stay locked up in police headquarters. Come on, you have to live. It's no time to be sentimental. Take it. You finished? Yes. Right. I mean, you must hurry. Questions. Just hurry. Madame, Monsieur, thank you. Thank you. Aren't you taking me to your hotel? I thought you'd be more comfortable at this one. I see. Do you like the room? Yes. Good. I just realized something. What? I never told you my name. It's Joan. Joan, my dear. You don't seem French. Strange pedigree. <laughs> well, my name is Ravik. Dr. Ravik? No, just Ravik. Thank you. I never heard you order that. No, you didn't. Now, if there's a bottle of Calvados within three blocks, it just comes to me. You understand? I'm like a magnet. <laughs> Calvados. Oh, you can be very charming. You sound very surprised. Well, just please. I don't know how to thank you. Well, first, you can have a drink with me before I go. You're not staying? No. Salut. Salut. You know, you ought to try and get some sleep. Yes. Tomorrow everything will seem different. All you need is some sleep and a little time. You understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Maybe. Goodbye.
music to relieve the gloom of these surroundings. The catacombs of this hotel, refugees. Excuse me, sir. This came for you. Thank you. Who brought it? Oh, a woman. I mean, a lady. The woman you told me about. It would appear so, yes. No card or anything. You never bothered to see her again. No, why should I? We spent the night together, that's all. It was of no consequence. Nonsense, nonsense. That is the least important thing in the world. As long as there is no love in it. I knew a woman once who said that it was easier to sleep with a man than to call him by his first name. The world gets harsher every day, Ravi. This is not, thank you. This is a cry for help. All right. I'll go and see you tomorrow. Fine, fine. Now, please, stop talking so much. Who was right? You were. Oh. about what you're going to do? No, not yet. I have to try and find some kind of work. I say so to myself every day, but... I understand you're an actress. The concierge told me when I asked him for your name. You forgot it? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm a singer. My mother was an English actress who married well. But after my father died, we traveled from one city to another, all over Europe. Where's your mother now? She died two years ago. I've played in clubs here and there. My friend, the man you saw, he owned a club in Brussels. Why don't you go back to England? No. No, I feel even more out of place there. You know, I have a friend who is the doorman of the Shahrazad. He seems to know everybody in the world. He might be able to get you a job there, at the Shahrazad. Oh. Make the nights easier. I dread this moment, especially at night, coming into a room where I have nothing waiting but a suitcase. Well, this was waiting. It's a good night to dream. Yes. A bad night for being left alone. I hated that he died knowing I didn't love him. Hey, come on. Regret is useless. Stop it. Salut. Salut. It's not very amusing for you being here with me. You came out of pity, but I thank you anyway. No, it wasn't out of pity. Well, you let me talk. That helped. Good. Well. Good night. Do you really want to go? Yes, I must. I have to operate early in the morning. Tomorrow I'll have courage. But tonight I can't be alone, please. All right. It wouldn't be my first night watch. Rain. I remember the sound of it one night in the trenches during the war. It was just before an enemy attack. It was very cold, bitter driving rain. We were all huddled together, just waiting, terrified, waiting for death. It was the end of everything we knew. Now, 
Yes. It was happening all over again. Everything that holds things together is going from our lives now. Forever. I'm sorry to keep talking about the past like this. Doesn't matter. I like to hear your voice in the dark. Well, when you get tired of it, just stop listening. I'm not tired. I'm quite awake. And cold. My job. Don't you think it's time? Why are you protecting Jews? We know you helped the Jew, Rosenberg, to escape. You will be punished for that. But what we really want to know is who helped him after he left you. How did he get out of the country? And if you won't tell us that, my dear Jew-loving friend, do you have any idea how bored I am with violence? How much it... How much it costs me to inflict pain. How it assaults my spirit. When I was being trained for my job, my superiors insisted upon one cardinal rule. I've never forgotten it. <clears throat> I've seen the proof over and over again. The rule was human behavior is governed not by ethics, not by passion, but by cliché. For example, take that uh, tired old maxim, every man has his price. There, at last, the unsealing of the lips. Cliché triumphs, you see? And now, you will say... The Goshen knows nothing about this. Yes, yes. Mr. Cliche. The Goshen knows nothing about what I've done. She knows Cliche. nothing about Throst. I hardly know the woman. I only had Cliche. a few things with her. Please let her go. Please let her go. Do you know what happens next? Cliché again.
I've got to find him. He's so close, I almost had him. And what would you have done, eh? Slit his throat in a nightclub, torn him to pieces and... You know what I mean. Now, Radicles, and I know what is in your heart, believe me. I understand that this must be planned carefully. When you see him again. If I see him. Very well, then if, if you see him again. Follow him. Find out where he lives. Nothing else. The rest can be worked out later. Tonight, take my advice. <laughs> you are carrying around too much poison inside you. It will kill you before you can kill him. Go to the Shiharazad. Drink some wine. No, not tonight. Rafi, listen. John wanted it to be a surprise for you, but <laughs> I managed to get her a job. Singing in the Shahrazad. It would be nice if you were there. I don't want to go to the Shahrazad. Don't argue. Go. All right. All right, I will. said. It's very strong, Algeria. Yes. And then you gave me the cigarette you'd lit, just like tonight. That was a frightened, exhausted woman. Not what you are now. Did you like my singing? You did very well. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're not a newspaper critic. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Did you know? Come. 
is the second line. Dangerous night. The charm of the unknown is gone. The charm of familiarity is yet to come. Shall we survive it? Taking a lot of time over that move. I'm thinking about it. So I see. We have a new arrival. Who? The man playing the piano. His name is Meyer. The others call him the bird of death. Why did they call him that? Because he can smell it and always, just in time, he leaves. Two months before Hitler came to power, he got out of Germany. He flew away from Vienna a month before the Nazis marched in. Another flight six weeks before they took Prague. Aren't you ever going to make that move? When I'm ready. Those three behind you, Wiesenthal, he's having an affair with Mrs. Goldberg. They get together for two hours every morning. That is when the old man goes to the American embassy to see. If, if they might have changed their mind about giving him a piece. Boris, you're just an old gossip. I'm also a connoisseur of the human heart. The night before last, when you and John Mutu walked out of the Shahrazad out together, I thought that finally there might be some hope for you. You and John Mato. We spent the night together. I came back next morning, she'd gone. That's all there was to it. Uh, you didn't telephone to find out why. I assume she had good reason. Anyway, there are more important things to think about. More violent, perhaps. Not necessarily more important. Checkmate. <laughs> Hello, Ravik. Hello. Where were you last night? I came, but I thought you'd gone out because you didn't want to see me. I waited for you. And I thought you weren't coming back, so I left. <sighs> I left too. Why? Because I was so afraid of the way I was feeling for you. Oh. Yes, words in the dark. Next you'll be telling me that you love me. I love you. Huh. Love. Why do you resist? Something in you is closed up and you won't let anyone in. It's good that you're here. You understand that? That's worth more than a thousand other words. It 
doesn't mean anything, nothing at all. You must love me. That is all, just love me. Come on, let's get out of Paris. We spend too much time in rooms. We live too much in rooms. We make love too much in rooms. Let's go to Normandy. <laughs> Normandy, if you can get time off from the Charizard. I was going to drive, and then come back. You're going to leave me behind with those idiots? You chose to gamble with those idiots. Another cognac, please. Thank you. Yes, sir. Where are you going to drive to? No one in particular. Take me with you. What would your idiots say? Hmm? <laughs> You're jealous. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> do they serve Calvados here? Sure, they do. And Calvados. Ravik, mm -hmm. don't ever leave me alone. I feel so lonely when you go. Oh. Just let me love you. And then you can love me whenever you can. Mm -hmm. Let's go for that drive.
someone call an ambulance? It is all right. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Anyone got a handkerchief? Thank you. You're a doctor, monsieur? I am, yes. Thank you. Monsieur. Monsieur. Yes? You'll have to come with me to headquarters, monsieur. We need a statement. I'm sorry, I have an urgent appointment. I'm already late. Uh, I'd be happy to come in tomorrow. Now, monsieur. It won't take long. But... Could I go outside for some fresh air while I'm waiting? As soon as things are settled, Doctor, you're free to go anywhere. How is it you're practicing medicine here as a foreigner? You're not allowed to, you know. I don't practice. I'm here as a tourist for pleasure. I told you already. You also told us you would check. Yes. And your passport is at the consulate for renewal. Yes, that's right. There is no passport in your name at the Czech consulate. Well, there must be some mistake. The people who answer the telephone don't always know about every passport that comes in for renewal. This one knew. For now, listen. The doctor stopped to help someone. He didn't have to get involved. Why don't we just take his address? No, a check. I haven't even got a Czech accent. You're a German, aren't you? No papers? You'll be deported. This is the border. Out of the truck. You will run in that direction. You will keep running. You will not turn back. If you do, you'll spend six months in jail, if you're arrested. Now go. Nothing. It has been months of nothing. Well, it's my last night here. This is where he can reach me if you do hear anything. Your last night, you say? Yes. This other man... He's an actor. He's found me a better job. You understand. I understand. Boris. put my arms around you and give you a proper hug, but I know how you Prussians hate that sort of thing. Oh, come! Oh, come in, come in, come in. You must be exhausted. Now, yeah. oh, I don't even know what to call you. Still Ravik. Yeah. I get you a thing. Yeah. Do you think there's still a room available for me at the Hotel Victoria? Oh, yes, your old room. She never rented it out. I told you you were in Rouen for a while. Well, who paid for it? Oh, it was taken care of. Thanks. 
No emotion, please. I don't think I can stand it. Listen, I tell you what, I take you out for dinner, we celebrate. But first, you must bathe. You smell like a zoo. Yeah. Something wrong? It worries me to see you drinking wine. A man comes back after a long absence, he should drink something stronger. I'm learning to live life more cautiously. Did you go anywhere before coming to my apartment? No. What is wrong? I caught a cold sleeping in the fields and barns. That's the reason why you're drinking wine. Are you trying to ask me something, Boris? No, but you are. Come on, ask me quickly so that we can get it over with. All right. I phoned her hotel from the station. They told me that she had checked out. So, where is she? She stopped working in the Sierra's house several weeks ago. A friend was able to get her a better job. Go on. She has been back several times, always with the same man. I see. I see, I see. You don't see at all. A woman with her lover gone. Maybe forever. Perhaps even dead. Did you expect anything else? Why did I ever turn you into a romantic? <laughs> oh, Boris. I used to believe that love was a luxury I could not afford. And then, one day, just for a little while, Now it doesn't matter anymore. Now, what matters to me is you insist on spilling that damn lemonade, drink something decent, a fine Calvados. No, definitely not Calvados. I'll drink brandy if it'll make you feel better. Not to hell with it. Waiter! To Calvados, large! Ah! Right. Emma. <laughs> ah, wonderful to see you back. You look good. Your friend Boris told me. You're looking thin. Was it very bad? No. I'm well. You look well, too. Good. Don't you? So why don't we have lunch? I have to operate. Right. A simple job. It won't take long. You can make yourself comfortable in my office. Can I help? Oh, it's only an appendectomy beneath your dignity. <laughs> why don't you just have a drink? Hey, come on. Let me operate, please. <laughs> of course. Thank you. I should have realized it once. Thank you. Oh, you're back. Hello, John. How long have you been in Paris? Two weeks. Two weeks? And you never tried to find me? It was probably just as well. You seem to have conquered Paris. Why didn't you write? I couldn't. You're lying. But has it made any difference? I waited, Ravik. Not very long. I didn't know where you were or when you'd be back, if ever. Neither did I. I've been working as an actress. Very big parts, but they say I'm rather good. I'm sure you are. Why are you so cold? Perhaps it's the way I am. No. No, you have discovered that there are things in life that you cannot control. So all you have left to control are your thoughts and your feelings. That is very good. Did you memorize it for a play? I've learned a great deal about people, Ravik. Perhaps because I've known many different men. Excuse me. <laughs> 
Look at it, Rabbit. I once spent an entire precious day off right here where we are standing. Your message said you had something important to tell me. Yeah, look around first, Rabbit. This place has washed over the history of Paris for centuries. It will be here watching when you and I and even Harker are gone. And believe me, men like him will be gone someday without your help or mine. You asked me here just to tell me that? Oh, I do have something to tell you. My friend made inquiries. His contacts are very good. Harker is Gestapo. He's not part of the Paris Embassy staff, which means that he is not permanently stationed here. What use is that to me? I also asked you to come here because I felt this was the place, among such timeless beauty, to lecture you about patience. I don't want to be lectured. Patience. In 1917, three men killed my father. I know who they are and exactly where they are. <laughs> I also know that I cannot go to them. But I have waited 22 years and sooner or later I will kill them. Just as you will kill Harker. But patience, my dear friend, patience. You'll find whatever it is you're looking for more easily, Joan, if you turn on the light. What are you doing here? I didn't think you'd be here. I thought you'd be out somewhere drinking. Would it have been better if you'd found me dead drunk? Yes. It would have helped. It would have been better if I hadn't come back to Paris at all. So, what are you doing here? Why do you have to ask? I'm here. Isn't that enough? Are you going to throw me out? No. Come here. So, tell me again. How you see our life together. Is that really what you want to hear from me? Why not? What else? Don't you want to know what happened in between? Nothing happened. You've come back. That's all that matters. I have to go, Ravik. Go? Why did you come here last night? <sighs> because I couldn't stay away. Oh, I can't just leave him because you've suddenly reappeared. It's not his fault. He's been very kind to me. Oh, yeah. And I want, at all costs, to be very generous to your lovers. Just give me a week. In a week, he has to go to Marseille. Then I'll tell him. And that night, we'll meet and celebrate all the time we will have together. One week. <laughs> Thank you. I'd come. 
It is the best possible time for you to be here. What do you mean? We planned this meeting a week ago. I know, but something urgent has come up. So I'll get in touch with you later in the week. I think I've already told him. I've left everything to be with you. I can't go back there now. We shall have to wait a little while longer. I have some unfinished business of my own now. I think I can't go back there. When I told him, do you know what he said? What? If I try to leave, he'll kill me. Are you playing games with me, trying to even the score? I can't go on with this now. Please, Joan, leave. I love you. Trust me. You never love me. Go! I'm sorry. Just go, please. Go. Say the English will reject the Fuhrer's demands on Poland. That won't help. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit down for a minute? You'll have to give me credit for a sharp eye. That scar, obviously from your student days, dueling. That means you must be German, correct? Right. I thought so. Bring me a cognac, an old one. Have you lived here long? Yes. Have you always lived here? Yes. I understand. Some of our best men are Germans living in foreign countries. Oh, excuse me. Ah, von Hock. Horn. Horn. Von Horn. I thought so. A man's breeding is always apparent. You must know Paris well. Of course. I don't mean the museums. I know exactly what you mean. The corrupt people. The French. They do have excellent cognac, though. Mm -hmm. And I hear the brothels are remarkable. You have been to one? Mm-hmm. A few. Not the most interesting ones, I'm sure. I know... I know a few brothels where tourists never go. In fact, I was thinking of going to one tonight. Were you really? Would you like me to take you? It would be a pleasure. Good. The trouble is, I'm going back to Berlin. Well, another time, perhaps. I shall be back in two weeks. And I'll be staying four or five days. Should be plenty of time for a little foray. I I'll phone you. Where do you live? At the Astoria. It's nearby. Uh, by the way, do you ever have any contact with refugees? No. Pity. We're trying to gather all the information we can about the scum who fled from the fatherland. We're especially interested in any communication they may have with people living in Germany. If you ever do hear of anything, I'll know exactly what to do with it. Good. I must go. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr von Horn. It's a pleasure. I'll call you in two weeks. I look forward to it. Don't forget. I never forget. Anything. Hopefully the same. The second day, Ravik. It is only the second day. You think it's mad, this obsession of mine, Boris? The thousands of people are dying in concentration camps. My one obsession with this one man, you think it's insane in the end? Not to me. 
Yes, Bong Hong. Yes, speaking. I'm afraid it's very inconvenient. It's at the Argentine Embassy. I'm now I'm waiting for a visa. Perhaps I could bring it in tomorrow. Yes, of course. I understand. Thank you. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. What is it? <laughs> the assistant manager checking through registration. He says I haven't given the hotel my passport. Of course I haven't. That's why I came in so late at night. He insists. He says the police are getting tougher. He wants it within the hour. Damn it. I can't leave. You can't stay. Stand firm. The tensions, however, continue to grow. Despite the conciliatory exchange of notes over the past few days between France, England and Germany, belligerent signals from all three countries continue to proliferate. Herr von Ribbentrop has not budged from his oft-repeated statement that if the Poles remain stubborn, Germany will march. Should this happen, there is little doubt that France and England will fight. Oh, Monsieur Ravik. Yes? I have an urgent message for you from your friend, Boris. Yes? He said to be sure to tell you that the man you've been waiting for is at the Osiris. Thank you. each other. Of course. Herr von Horn. Where have you been? I've been trying to phone you. Still at the Astoria Hotel? Why didn't you get in? I'll give you a lift. Aren't you going in there? No, that's just a place for tourists. I tell you, the best places are just beginning to liven up. Would you like me to take you to one? All right. I shouldn't have drunk so much cognac. Where are we going? We're going to a house where beautiful society ladies gather. You know, women who, whose husbands are too old, women who need a little extra spending money. Have we time to go there and, uh, and uh, still uh, catch the morning train? Train? You and I always seem to be meeting just when I'm leaving. As a matter of fact, I did intend to stay a few more days, but the embassy expects the border to be closed any minute now, so I thought I'd better get back. My suitcase is already at the station. Oh. Well, we have time then. We've been driving. Hmm? About ten minutes. No, longer. No? I, I looked at my watch uh, just before I got into the car. We have been driving for half an hour. No, not as long as that. Just ten minutes. Drive back. But we're almost there now. Drive back. I, I have to go back to my hotel. You said that your suitcase was already at the station? Yes, it is, but I've forgotten something at the hotel. Drive back. Whatever you like.
You found him. Done. Finished. Who are you? Never knew who I was. It all happened so quickly. I didn't plan it that way because I wanted him to recognize me. I wanted him to remember me before I killed him. I wanted him to remember my friend, Jacob Hirschfeld, my friend and cellmate, the way he looked after they smashed his body and tortured him and left him to die. I wanted him to remember Sybil, the girl I... The way he tortured her and raped her in front of me, what he did to her. I wanted him to remember everything before I killed him. It all happened so quickly. I expected to feel elated and triumphant. I felt nothing. You. What is it? You're Rabbi. Yes, I, I do have the right room. I saw you in the restaurant when she went to talk to you. Yes, I'm Rabbi. What do you want? She... She... Come quickly. You've got to come. How long ago did it happen? I don't know. Perhaps about three o'clock. I didn't mean to shoot. But she said she was leaving. She meant it this time. I knew she meant it. She said she was leaving. Now pull over. Let me drive. Come on, pull over. Did you move her? I, I carried her. I, I thought she, she might be more comfortable. She shouldn't have been moved. Phone for an ambulance. Then call Passy 4273. Ask for Dr. Weber. If he's not there, tell them to find him. It's an emergency. Passy 4273, Dr. Weber. Go now! Are you in pain? Uh, can you get Passy 4273? Yeah. Perfect. Hello? Hello? Try not to talk. I can't move my legs. Yes, now. If you want, I could call Marteau. He could be here in 15 minutes. We can keep her stable till then. It wouldn't do any good. Look. You can see how the bullet is lying. Yeah. If I even tried to get it, it... It's just a matter of time. Not very much. Why can't 
I'm going to move my arm and my legs. Oh, I I'm going to die, aren't I? I want you to rest now. living differently. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to suffer. I won't let you suffer. You give me something. Yes. Strong enough. Forever. Yes. Please, Raffin, promise. Promise. When the time comes, Joan. You know, it's all right for you to do it. Because without you, I wouldn't be alive anyway. <laughs> Not I without you. <laughs> Don't know. You made me live tonight. I have so much to tell you. Later. No, no, there's no more time. so much I have to explain. I know most of it. I only love when it was with you. I understand, Joe. The others, they were just restless. And Ravig. Oh, Ravig, help me now. My darling, I love you. <laughs> you gave me God. Oh, God, why? Why has your heart been God? <laughs> At least you won't have to endure the war. That's something, isn't it? Dr. Baby, you wanted urgent clean 102. Right away. Wait for me in my office, Robbie. Now have a drink.
Don't go inside. The police are there. Yeah, I thought they might be. I was able to get hold of the identity card of a dead white Russian, probably for another 18 months. We will go now to the Scheherazade and check the photographs. No bars, thanks, sir. I've been running long enough. I've lived too long without identity. This time I use my own name. Uh, something has happened. What is it? Joan is dead. Listen, one oh, last... God, what, what, what happened? It was a stupid accident. Listen to me. One last Weber. Her body is lying in Weber's hospital. Would you contact Weber for me? And arrange for her to be buried, please? Oh, of course, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Deeply sorry. Yes, well... You think we shall meet again? <laughs> After the war. Yes. Goodbye, Boris. Thank you. My old friend. Thank you. German camp. Pack a bag with enough for three days. It's gonna be all right. I have medicine. Don't worry. can stand a great deal. Oh. 